this opportunity came up, I thought, I want to do this movie. Because it wasn't a reboot of something. It was an original story. Then we could kind of deliver something that was completely original on all fronts. My job is to interpret the story and, and to, to help you feel what the characters are feeling. So the only way I can write real music is to sort of connect to the movie and to be invested in some way. And I knew I would be on this film just by virtue of my connection to the character from years ago as a kid. I told Michael that the movie was a bit darker than most Marvel movies wanted the score to reflect that and that I wanted a sense of the mystical. Other than that, I wanted him to feel unhandcuffed. I wanted him to feel free to do what he wanted to do. I had the main theme for Doctor Strange written almost immediately before going in for that first meeting. He very quickly turned around with a theme that was amazing. We were all just amazed at how good it was. And I felt immediately like, well, that's it. It was just seemingly effortless for him. Just as a general brass note, 45 through to 53, can you take it all down one dynamic, please? I cannot lead another gifted student to power, only to lose him to the darkness. You didn't lose me. I wanted the power to defeat my enemies. You gave me the power to defeat my demons and to live within the natural law. We never lose our demons, Mordo. We only learn to live above them. I think Scott and I have sort of been on the same page from day one about what we wanted with this thing. So I sort of pitched to him what I was thinking, and he brought to me what he was thinking, and it really all worked together. There may be dark days ahead. Perhaps Kamataj could use a man like Strange. We don't ever really talk about music. We talk about story and character. There are different themes for the different characters. Doctor Strange has a theme. The Dark Magic has a theme. We will now receive the power to destroy the one who betrayed us. There's the training theme. <laughs> There's a semi-romantic theme. This is insane. Yeah. The Sanctum has its own theme. The first time Doctor Strange shows up in the Sanctum is pretty fun. He's starting to see little artifacts and different things that anyone who's a fan of the Doctor Strange comics will recognize this and that. I was able to find different instruments that you normally don't use in films. And for me on this one, it was really going to be centered around an electric sitar and a harpsichord. They were going to be sort of the heart of the score in a way, and everything would be built around that. We have almost 100 people here, everyone in the same room to record at the same time. Some people like to record just, say, the string section and then on another day record the brass and they divide everything up. But for me, I really love the sound of a full orchestra with all of the sound waves bouncing off each other. 